Are we ready for the Naturally You Day? Yes. Yes. No, I can't hear you. Yes. Are we ready for the Naturally You Day? Yes. yes. I'm ready. Woo. Yes. Yes. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Shalom, etc., etc. Et so we have a fun-filled day for you. As you know, this is the seminar room, so we have a list of some amazing speakers um, talking about topics which are to do with natural health, which I guess that's why you're here. And in the exhibition room, we have a wealth of exhibitors um, who are selling you their wares, all natural and all healthy. So make sure you do visit and support. It's really important that we all obviously support our own and you'll leave here feeling fresh, healthy and vibrant. Isn't that right, Leah? Right. Good. <laughs> it's actually my day. She's just turned along for them for the ride. Yeah, right. um, yeah. So, as you know, it's obviously it's Leah's, it's Leah's uh, day today, Naturally Day. Leah, do you want to tell us a little bit about yeah, today? Yeah, firstly, thank you very much for you all coming out of your houses and being inside on such a hot day outside to join me on the first ever Naturally You Day. I really appreciate your time. Everyone that's here, from the speakers to the exhibitors, have all been almost like hand-selected. They're people that I've always looked up to or admired, or people that I would recommend people go to if they want help with skin care or personal development or business training or whatever it is. All the exhibitors, all the speakers. So, the, And the reason why I want them all under one roof is so that the visitors that come here today, you guys that come here today, can get some information and inspiration and motivation to continue your journey into natural health. A lot of us are already on a journey to natural health, but sometimes we you know, hit stumbling blocks and we need a bit of a push and a bit of some encouragement. So everything that's here today is there to do that, is to give you that little push, give you that bit of encouragement to help you on your journey to natural health. So the first, the first um, people we're gonna have up here are Sifu, Brian Barnes, who I've known for over a decade. I know I don't look old enough, but <laughs> I've known him a very long time. He's a very dedicated and passionate professional. And he is from the Northern Praying Mantis Kung Fu School. And he's gonna he's gonna perform some amazing feats for you. No one tried them at home. We don't have that kind of insurance. Just let, leave it up to the professionals. However, he does train and he does do classes as well. So he's gonna show you an example of what you can end up doing if you did decide to work with him and go to his training school. We're going to show a quick um, introductory video of some of his work and then he's going to perform a demonstration. So can we give a warm round of applause for <laughs> Thank you.
Thank you. We're from the Northern Prairie Mantis School. And has everyone seen a mantis before? Yeah. <laughs> You've seen a mantis before? Prairie mantis? It might look like a grasshopper to you, but it's bigger and longer, elongated. When we're doing this, we're mimicking the feelers of the prairie mantis. It's very agile. It's very, very quick, very fast. Have you seen any of those wildlife um, programs? You see it in the wild where it's, it's a very brave creature where it would, it would attack snakes, hummingbirds, other insects, but it's a very brave insect. Mm. To do this particular system, you do have to have a big heart. Have you all got big hearts in here? Whoa, that sounds a bit, a bit low. Have you got big hearts? Yeah. Whoa, I hope so, because you're going to be doing some stuff. <laughs> but anyway, so, what we're going to do, we're just going to do a short little demonstration on uh, the prey mantis system. We're going to show you some knife defenses and some chin up, which are basically inside techniques takedowns. So we're going to show you some of that. And what else are we going to do? Um, oh, and some bad work. We're going to show you some bad work and get you guys to uh, join in a little bit, test your, your martial arts <laughs> skills. So, we will start with my two students. Oops. So this is John and Oli. Give them a round of applause. Yes. Start off with a knife defense. I'm stand over this side. Okay. Oh. It sounds hard, but we they do train. And they're going to do a second knife defense. Stabbing motion coming down. <laughs> Give me a round of applause. Just done there. Again, we do practice on breaking our falls. I always say that this is your best friend. The floor to us is our best friend. So when we hit the floor, we'll just bring back up because we're used to it. But we do train, so you know, don't try it at home and then whatever. But we do train, yeah? Okay, next we're gonna show you some chin up or inside techniques. Basically, each basic I show them, there's at least 10 or more different ways of doing that basic, but in a slightly different way. So basically, it's just as to your armor. So if you did a technique and it didn't work, it's like, you don't say, oh no, but it worked in class. No, you adapt. The praying mantis is very good at adapting to the situation. So we add to your knowledge. So this is what we call chin art. So we will do the first one. Take down. Okay. Find the second chin up. Good. Respect. Oops. Good. Turn around. Respect. Oops. Basically, these chinners are applied from, say, stand narrow. Either same position. Be it my same leg to his same leg, so we watch how you stand. Or opposite position. It doesn't matter how they stand within this system, we're very comfortable and very adaptable. So basically that's what they were doing. So they applied a punch from the same position which he took very nicely. And then he applied another technique in opposite position in the same sort of manner, coming from the opposite way. Now I'm going to show you like from a double jab. Yeah. 
Okay, so again from that, the praying man says we do a lot of booking and drawing. We show it slowly. So one, he jabs, I hook it. Two, he jabs, I hook it. Three, I step in, trap his leg, chop him to the neck, which takes him down. <laughs> Oops. Okay. A bit of bad work. We do a bit of bad work for the stamina. Bring up your stamina and your your technique. Quick, but we're aiming for pressure points. 
So each strike I'm doing with my fingers are pressure points in your body. And we're not stopping at the skin, we're looking to penetrate the skin on the soft part. So you do have to train your wrists, your fingers. Conditioning, meditation, breathing, so many things, but we only had a little bit of time to, to demonstrate. So, any other questions? Let us know, and that's fine. And thank you very much.